Hoping now there won't be a government shutdown tonight. After all, 11th hour action on a temporary spending bill averted disaster, but only temporarily. And this problem will be back in just in time for Christmas. Mike Gooding joins us now with the latest. Well, and that is right, Janet. Mark your calendars two weeks from today, December 22nd, the Friday before Christmas. The federal government will run out of money unless Congress takes new action. A shutdown is really bad for us. Our region particularly, a shutdown is really bad for Virginia generally. But there won't be one, at least not yet. Congress avoided a shutdown and voted to keep federal government operations running for two more weeks. The new continuing resolution passed in the Senate 81 to 14 and in the House 235 to 193, but not without some misgivings. This is a very bad way to run a government. And I don't like to see our CRs are bad for, for, for planning, for multi-year projects, for, for the industrial base, for the military, very bad for the military. This CR does ensure that Defense Department operations and other federal programs won't be disrupted this weekend or in the coming two weeks. But there are no guarantees beyond December 22nd. Last time there was a shutdown in 2013, the temporary impact in Hampton Roads was severe, with 21,000 civil servants furloughed for 13 days, impacting purchases of various goods and services throughout the region until the shutdown ended and those workers got reimbursed. Christopher Newport University political analyst Quentin Kidd is worried that, even though stopgap funding does keep the government open for a short period of time, eventually there will be a day of reckoning. That's probably when we'll have a shutdown. I expect that to come in late January, uh, early February, maybe mid-February. And so how did our representatives vote on this continuing resolution to keep the government open? The senators, Democrats Mark Warner and Tim Kaine, voted yes, and so did the Republican Scott Taylor. Voting no in the House were Republican Rob Whitman and Democrats Donald McEachin and Bobby Scott. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.